All righty, the floodgates are open. We're now in our recording. Thank you guys. As you're trickling in, we'll give everyone some time, but welcome to the Good Ghosting April community call. Got a couple of um, fast movers here. I've already got Rachel and Angus here with us. Angus is from Open Dow, and you guys know Rachel really well. And so we'll give everyone an opportunity to kind of get funneled in. We got about a, couple, a good chunk of registrants here. And so we'll just wait until it feels like the participation's about filled up and we'll kind of start rolling with the agenda. But thank everybody for being here today. Different time zones for everybody. I could see if like, you know, we've stayed green for see. three quarters or three deployments or whatever it is. Like, great, it's a self portrait fun that that's working great as a Hey, what's up, Perry? Nice to have you here. You are everywhere all the time. We appreciate you being here with us. All righty, we got everyone trickling in. We got our panel list here. So, guys, we'll be being joined by Fly Wallet and Open Dow today. We'll go into the details of what they have to share with us as we get going with everybody in here. Hey, Nitty, what's going on? Our West Coaster, Mary. I'm glad that you're all right with this time. It's it's always a struggle, right? We are a truly international community here at Good Ghosting, and it's always tough to find timing that works for everybody, so we appreciate you guys being here. Well, what's going on? Mr. Thomas is joining us from Flywallet as well today, and so it looks like we've got hey. the whole the whole crew here. So with that in mind, we can start a little bit of light duty discussion here. We got a good chunk of folks. I think we're ready. My, my struggle and to get better at is to manage the chat as well while we're doing this thing here. And so let me just make sure I'm keeping up with everybody. Nothing but good vibes. <laughs> exactly correct. Five and then ready to roll. Okay, this is looking good. Guys, I have a nice slide deck that we'll go through today and kind of roll through everything, but it's a pretty, pretty familiar process if you've been with us before. I'm happy with the timing at this set. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen and we'll look at this pitch deck and get going here, guys. Yeah, nice to have you on here, Thomas. And look at what <laughs> I've got. Looks amazing on you, Rachel. It matches the room I'm in as well. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. I, I love it that. does. And it matches the, go the good ghost. Exactly, it's a, it's a very spooky color, which is, is all what we want. Just set the chat box over here too, so I don't lose everybody here today because I have a bad habit of getting stuck in my presentation and not paying attention. Okay, just a, just a quick media check. Does everyone see that screen share and that look okay for all? Okay, guys. With that in mind, let's officially get started. We are recording. My name is Kale. I'm the community manager here at Good Ghosting. I wanna thank you for taking the time to hang out with us for the April community call. We have some great guests with us today. We're being joined by Angus from Open Dow and also from Thomas from Fly Wallet. You guys know Rachel and you know Gil, and they're our founders here at Good Ghosting. So they're hanging out with us today as well to share some good updates from the team side. Let's go ahead and look at today's agenda. It's going to be a fun one. We got nice stuff to share with everybody. Lots of updates. The hour is going to fly by like it usually does. Um, we'll try to make some room at the very tail end there for some Q&A and for some open discussion. So by all means, if you have questions, you can put them in the chat box. We'll keep up with those as well. Rachel and Gil will help me keep up with everybody. But we're going to just kind of go through the intro here, what we're doing today. I'm going to do a little spiel here for some game updates and for some stats updates from the last community call. Rachel's going to do a presentation here on our recent seed fundraising round and also some NFT uh, excitement that's happening on the good ghosting side. And we'll hear from Angus at Open Dow and what they're building. Um, they'll be coming to Polygon soon, and that's why we are lucky to have them here with us today. Thomas at Flywallet is building a really neat project over there. You guys have probably been hearing some chatter about Flywallet, and you're probably aware that we are launching a savings pool here at the end of this call, and that'll be with the Flywallet collaboration on the CELO network. With that in mind, just want to thank everybody for being here again today. Most of you are familiar because you've probably already completed a game or two, but if you have never played at Good Ghosting, what is Good Ghosting, right? And so what we are is a social savings game. And so we use underlying lending borrowing platforms. So on Polygon, we use Aave and on Sila, we use Moolah. We create social savings games. These are pools that you have to enter and make regularly timed deposits of certain amounts. Make all your deposits, stay in the pool, earn your share of the interest, be a winner. Miss a deposit, you give up your opportunity to gain any of the interest, but you do not lose the deposit. 
you'll always get back what you put in, but your opportunity to gain those additional bonuses are sacrificed if you do not keep up with your dedicated DeFi. This is gonna be our update for pools, which is kind of crazy. Talk about a day, right? These next two or three days are busy times at Good Ghosting. And so the Stable Spring pool is still open and available for entry on Polygon Network, but it only has a few hours left. That one's about snapped up and it was very close to the player count. And so be aware, we might be done on that one. Um, you can see the dates for all these guys. A W means it's ready for withdrawal and a D means it's ready for deposit. And so Silo Mobile, Spring Pool, the, the women's pools on Silo. Matic March is done as of today. You'll have seen that announcement from Barrage that those NFTs have been sent out and those deposits are available for withdrawal. And then we have the Samba pools. Those are a little bit more long-term. Those deposits are due. And so you see that we <laughs> create this perfect storm of wonderful savings opportunities. Just get, get rid of it. You'll thank yourselves later. And so pay attention to all of these actions that are required. If you're unfamiliar with this screen that I'm looking at right now, you're probably a little bit aware that we've been doing some things in the background. And this is probably one of our biggest improvements here since the last call, which is the creation and implementation of the player dashboard. I know that a whole bunch of you guys have, have used this, but if you haven't heard of this yet, the player dashboard has been a long time request. This is the single place that a user can come and see everything all in one place for their deposits, for their ongoing games, for any required actions, anything that they have going on. It does require you to activate what we call in the beta mode. And you'll see that right here. You do currently need a good ghosting score over 1,000. And that was just upon introduction of this feature. But we do have plans to open this up to all users here in the next coming days. Sure. All right. All right. Stats updates, we're uh, crushing it, <laughs> quite honestly. And we're just in the beginning of a really big up curve. And so I just want everyone to just keep paying attention. You guys are bringing your friends and you guys are letting people know what's going on. It's, it's obvious and we can see it. So uh, with the March community call, it was on the Twitter spaces. So I didn't have a, uh, an image to reference for that. But from the February call to the April call, almost to the exact date, right? We've seen an increase of almost 1 million in TVS overall, and about 15,000 players have been added. And so we've broken 1 million TVS value saved on the Polygon network and on the Celo network, killing it on the player account, one of the most active dApps out there currently. We are now tracked on DAP radar. Thank you, Gil. That was some good work on that. And we're looking at more um, tracking systems as well. I know we hear a lot about like DeBank and Zapper, and we are working with those um, organizations to coordinate for our votes so we can get ourselves thrown up on the board. So I'll holler at all of you guys at the same time so we can all bring our collective power together. We can kill the vote when that happens. Just on the DAP radar too, we are competitive. And one thing I wanted to notice is that we did hit the number one DAP spot on CeeLo. And that was a very proud moment for us. And we we're very competitive to put Ubisoft in the second place. But we, we compete for that back and forth. It's obviously dependent on when we launch our pools and how much activity we've got going on. But we're continuously in that top three spot, top four spot on CeeLo and in that top 20 spot on the Polygon network. So thank everybody for the active interest and engagement. It's paying off. We've also broken 5,000 followers on Twitter here recently, another milestone for us. And if you were one of these first 100 people to subscribe to our YouTube channel, you do have a badge incoming. Do not think I've forgotten you. I've closed that submission form as of this morning, and we'll be working on getting those badges out to those supporters pretty soon. I do want to take a moment to recognize and thank our current community superheroes. We've added some new people to our ranks. They've received um, their recognition and their roles here lately, but I just wanted to give a public shout out. Musashi, Crypto Vincent, Galulu, Gavarch, Lunapup, Merkle 3, Rinley, Arli Riano, Way to Wealth, Travin, Jack Jow, Mr. Gump, Kate Kathris, Neck, Sin Cow, Zoo, Kami, Very Perry, Salt, Buck, Mobius, Sam, Clement, and the Gachi Farmy. These are our community superheroes. These are our most active members. They're always there to help out other users. They're held a, or there to help out in a pinch when one of us is unavailable and just share with everybody, make sure everyone knows what's going on. So we greatly appreciate those individuals and look forward to growing those ranks. With that in mind, I'm gonna share this 
she'll take over here. She's got some uh, very exciting updates to share in two different regards. And so I'll go ahead and let her take over the stage. Uh, thank, thank you. Uh, thanks for that, Kale. And just before I dive in, there's a question that's come through from, from Aaron saying, are we at uh, Cello Connect? And the answer is yes. Um, and I'm glad, I'm glad Kiel has just muted them because he's still very much at Cello Connect. Um, but it has been a very um, amazing couple of days. Um, we've actually been here since the weekend. Uh, so met lots of exciting uh, projects in Cello, including uh, Fly Wallet. Um, but yeah, it's been great. Um, and I'll, I'll share some more about that uh, on Discord later. I think we've been sharing some of those photos. But anyway, back to um, what I was going to talk about today. Uh, so Kel, can I get you to uh, jump on one slide? Um, so yeah, so good ghosting. Um, this is kind of our sort of core belief. Our belief is that good financial habits should be rewarded. And you've seen us do that with uh, saving pools. As you know, as you complete the pool, you get interest, you get more interest than you would do if you go directly to, to any of the uh, protocols that we build on top of. We also give you some nice incentives. And of course we give you NFTs. So I'm gonna jump to the next slide. I know a lot of you on this call will be very familiar with our very iconic ghost um, and the, all the different NFT forms that has appeared in and the kind of version one of our NFTs. So we've seen our ghost have a, a Portuguese flag for, if we roll back still, um, oh. Portuguese flag for um, East Lisbon. It, we had a Christmas snow uh, dome themed one. We had a Brazilian real themed one, Bankless style one, lots of, lots of good stuff. And jumping onto the next slide. Yeah, and it has actually been uh, really inspirational to see how uh, the community has also taken this ghost and uh, made their own NFTs. Some really good blender work here with this uh, with this ghost here. Uh, some, uh, you know, pumpkins and of course this very iconic uh, scream ghost that was a community submission from one of our community campaigns, which we actually got a, a Mali 3D to, to render in Blender for us. So that was a lot of fun. Um, we love seeing this kind of, this ghost take on its uh, take on its own life through the community, uh, just to, also to you know credit how creative our community is. Um, but today I'm gonna to talk about the kind of next iteration of our NFTs that are coming out. In fact, the first batch of these have already gone out to, and it's gone out to actually a lot of people who are here on this call. Uh, so all of our kind of community heroes. So Kale has already done a shout out to you, but um, just a shout out again. And you're actually the first to kind of get on the train of our next generation of NFTs. These are going to be way more unique to you. And they're going to be something that's really going to be part of your journey as a saver. As you save more and you get more experience, you get more GG scores in good ghosting, you're going to actually have the opportunity to kind of make your NFT even better. So maybe you're going to start off with something quite minimal. Over time, you're grabbing few different bits and pieces and in the end you're going to get like a kind of fully pimped out um, exciting NFT so that's pretty much what I'm going to say about that I'm not going to go into the full details of it but as you can see we've already uh, minted out a batch of these so I'd like to say you know thank you to Barrage and also Kale uh, being kind of instrumental for this we had our pixel ghosts so these are the ones that were pulled out on last week's raffle and um, just to kind of uh, be iconic Tabagotchi, we pulled out some kind of pixel art, pixel art that's rendered in Blender, which I think is an aesthetic in itself that is awesome. Um, 3D uh, pixel art. So those have, uh, we've sent out, Cal, I think you've sent out all of those that you have the addresses for, but there are still a few people who have won one of those and are still lurking around. So get in contact with Cal and we're gonna send that out to you as, as soon as you send your address in. And then we've also got our, Next slide is the uh, community hero ghost, I believe. Um, so yeah, these are the community heroes and you can only get this type of ghost, this special cape, if you are one of our community heroes that we kind of recognize. So we've got a whole bunch of you I know on this call um, who already done amazing stuff across the community, everything from kind of moderating channels to creating artwork and just overall being an asset um, to, to the good ghosting community. You get one of these um, shiny metallic capes um, and they have unique faces. Um, they have the halo. And as I say, just, just keep hold of this because this uh, ghost is really gonna come with you on this journey as you kind of become a better saver, hopefully grow your portfolio 
and uh, level up your NFT as well. Um, so yeah, that's our new NFTs. Um, and yeah, just a big shout out to uh, Marley3D. Uh, he's not on the call with us today, but he has been an amazing um, designer that we've worked with. Um, he does lots of cool stuff. You can actually check out his work on Foundation. Um, he's also on Twitter, it's Marley3D. I think on both those platforms, yeah, brilliant blender artist, and we're going to keep working with him sort of for the long term. So yeah, just shout out to, to Marley there. Uh, yeah, so the next thing that I was going to mention just before I hand over to um, our guest speakers is we, if you've been following us on Twitter or on Discord, you will have noticed this, but we are very pleased to announce that we've raised a seed round of 1.25 uh, million um, from this range of investors. And this is like something that's, we're really thankful for these investors. We've got some exceptional minds in this space who know a lot about building uh, companies, building Web3 companies as well, and also growing communities, hiring, all of this stuff that you need to do uh, to take your kind of product to the next level. So we're going to, yeah, it's just really going to help us scale up, do more of what we do, um, get more saving pools out, and ultimately help you kind of build those better financial habits and, and do it for the long term. So yeah, just a shout out to our investors. We're super pleased to have them on board and uh, look forward to kind of growing good ghosting with them. Right on. Yes. Rachel, do you have anything else before we hand this off? No, that is that is all from me. I'm happy to answer any questions at the end. And just a thank you. It's great to see so many people on the call today. Absolutely. Very excited about those unique NFTs. These are just the very beginning of the journey. This is not the end of our process. This is barely getting started here. Okay, guys, let's pivot here. One of our guest speakers, we'll start off with Mr. Angus. Angus is a core team member over at OpenDAO. You may have heard of the OpenDAO project. You may have heard about a pretty large scale, large publicity airdrop that happened a while back with this SOS token, and that's these guys. And so they have some agenda um, coming up on their protocol development that has put them into our path. And we're nice or happy to have them here and hear a little bit more about what they're up to. How are you doing today, Angus? Good man, Kale. Thank you so much for the introduction. So, like, I'm Angus. I'm a core contributor at the Open DAO. So, um, I I think if you guys know, um, the Open DAO SOS token was airdropped um as uh to to the to the users of the Open Sea. Um, so it's quite a large scale airdrop. I think um, one of the largest. I, I think so far in, in this ecosystem. Um, so with like two hundred thousand um holders, it makes us like one of the largest uh communities, um, sort of in the web tree. Um, yeah. So so that's like on on our website. So um, the SOS token currently mostly exists on the Ethereum main chain. Um, so right now we're going to bridge it um to the uh to the uh, to the Polygon chain, um, and we will couple that with a liquidity mining program. So, and that is going to start sometime on 19 April. Um, and as well as we are going to launch uh, with the good ghosting guys. So I think the, the pool details will release shortly, but something like, you, you know, you kind of need to own some SOS tokens, then you can participate in uh, a die saving pool and um, you'll earn SOS. Um, and in, in the future, I, I, I hope that, uh, you know, our users will never ever have to touch the Ethereum main chain because like everyone is complaining about the gas fees and all that. Um, yeah, so like, like I, I, I hope the good ghosting uh, protocol will form a, a core part of our infrastructure, you know, so like people will receive uh, payments or, you know, for example, if they work for the DAO, they do bounties for the DAO, they receive payments in uh, Matic SOS. And they can straight away use the Matic SOS to save it in gold ghosting, which is some kind of a you know staking mechanism, and they can earn more SOS, you know, and then they can immediately use it uh, on our other platforms um, in, in the Matic ecosystem. So one of that that we are building together with this company, uh, this protocol called NFTWiki.org, um, is something like a they call it a, a decentralized advertising network, which is like kind of blows my mind, but um, you probably can use the Matic SOS that you earn from um, the good ghosting pool um, to, to sort of promote your own NFTs. So it will like upvote and then it will show up mm. as a promoted post on top. So I, I think that has not been um, ever done before. Um, and instead of like using some kind of a old time advertising contract, um, the it, it is actually committed on the Polygon smart, smart chain. I, I mean, it's actually a smart contract uh, by itself. Um, yeah, so we will release more and more details later. So if you have like, 
um, some kind of NFT land or decentralized land or something or sandbox, you can actually tap into the smart contract, um, draw out these advertisements, display on your land, you know, and, and actually earn SOS. So that is something that uh, our, our guys are working on and they are going to release sometime on um, 19 April as well. Yeah. <clears throat> So the other things that um, the Open DAO has actually uh, worked on. So yes, so we are we're just about three months old. So uh, we are born on the Christmas, uh, the last Christmas. So um, we have like uh, Twitter spaces every day. Um, so the, the main product that, products that we have launched are actually um, number one. It's called the uh, 7 to 1 Starter. So it is a kind of launch pad for NFTs. So like there, there are some like crazy hard to get um, NFT projects um, like uh, I suddenly slip my mind like there was this one called the Antonym right and, and a couple more projects so usually it would have taken like personally it would have taken me hundreds of hours of grinding to get inside yeah but right now we're actually using the Chainlink VRF which is also like um, based in the Polygon um, to generate some kind of a raffle system so it's like truly one of the fairest like um white listing system for NFTs. Yeah, so in the next version, we are going to allow uh, our users to actually vote for what projects get listed. Yeah, so um, th those are pretty cool. Um, the other product that we are launching, that we already launched is called the SOS Market. Um, dot io so it's actually some kind of a prediction market yeah so we are trying to ask our devs to deploy on polygon as well um, because the gas fees right now on ethereum makes the the market a little bit difficult to move yeah so we're going to relaunch that um, a couple more projects that we're currently working on is uh, we're going to be dropping our twenty thousand uh, profile picture project mm. um, so uh, i don't know what's going on even i don't know what's going on because like there's so much like behind the scenes. So, but what I can know is that uh, it's going to be based on, you know, some kind of a, a metaverse identity. You, you redefine how we identify ourselves. It, it's based on like a, um, you know, zodiac signs or something like that. You know, so hopefully, you know, you can find something that really represents you. You know, it's really not like about... Um, it's like it's really not about flipping you know nfts um it, it's like really way beyond that yeah so nfts um it's really about the the art the community you know giving back to to the community to to the artists and you know really putting their work up on the pedestal like like what you guys have done you know um putting this this uh, good ghost right at the center of like this application i, I think that is going to be um the future of crypto or it, it is really the present of crypto yeah <laughs> Um, that's um, fantastic yes. that's fantastic uh, I guess I know I feel the same way right you guys are still small uh, in, in, in terms of timeline but you're large in community and so there's so many different ways that y'all's project can can go I'm sure it's exciting and overwhelming at the same time there's literally so many things happening yeah it's, it's like crazy I think there's so many products um, that uh, oh sorry I totally forgot there's one called the 7 to 1 starter so the 7 to 1 starter is also going to be based on the polygon so um, like emerging artists, you can actually, um, sorry, a 7 to 1 artist, correct. It's called 7 to 1 artist. So you can actually, um, if you are an emerging artist, you know, you can send in your works and um, yeah, we'll display them, you know, and then if you have SOS tokens, you can go ahead and use them to vote. Um, you don't have to spend your tokens, but you can like use um, your SOS tokens to just, you know, vote on it. So they're using uh, quadratic voting, which is a uh, kind of anti will. So if many people vote on your work and people really like it, you know, the DAO actually purchase it and we'll just hold it inside our treasury and, you know, make a gallery so everyone can look at it. It's yeah. fantastic. So... Angus, so... There it's you go. It's, uh, yeah, exactly. It's got to be a nutshell, right? We, we have so much to expand on, but that's the beauty of what we do here at Good Ghosting is it exposes our users to your community and yours to ours so we can have an opportunity to spend more time at theopendow.com and learn more about what you guys are doing and how we're going to be able to help you in Boring Savings as well. Very much looking forward to the collaborations, Angus, and I appreciate you reaching out to our community. Glad that you saw something that you liked. Okay, Thomas, Mr. Thomas, you're up, man. This is co-founder of iWallet. Thomas has got a big personality and a good vision. I like I like talking with him all the time because he's a he's a dreamer to to say the least. And so let's hear a little bit about what's going on at FlyWallet. How are you, partner? Hey, everybody. Can you hear me? Okay. Sounds great. Hey, thanks for having me. Uh, 
Callum, thanks so much for that amazing intro. Uh, very flattered coming from you. Uh, reporting live right now from the Cello Connect conference. Uh, had an amazing time so far with uh, Rachel and uh, Gail. Um, Rachel, loving the swag. Thanks so much uh, for wearing it on the call. So everyone, uh, Fly Wallet, we share the same values as uh, good ghosting in building good habits. Saving habits are good, but travel is also important for your well-being and taking that well-deserved break, especially if you're an entrepreneur or you are working, you know, working hard. And what we're really set out to do is really make travel part of your lifestyle, travel part of your, of your routine. And uh, we know that travel can be pretty pricey, so making travel affordable is at our core. Um, Fly Wallet recently launched on uh, Cello, and uh, we really appreciate everyone that's giving us all the support and making it, um, making it possible. So yeah, as I said, currently live on Cello, you can find us on the Valora uh, D app um, section. You can also visit our website directly uh, through Fly Wallet Pro and connect your MetaMask or Valora wallet to book your flights with CUSD. Um, we kind of act like an off-ramp, so it's great to have, to hold CUSD, to hold tokens, but it's a better feeling to actually spend them and spend them on uh, something as cool as travel. So you don't have to worry about off-ramping it and uh, paying it with FlyWallet. And um, we've gotten great feedback uh, about that experience because you kind of feel like you're, you're hacking the system, you know, spending, spending tokens on flights is, uh, I highly recommend it. So I hope that you guys will follow that advice. Um, the book now pay later system uh, that, I'll be speaking a bit more uh, later because it regards to the pool, but we enable you to lock the price of a flight uh, for 50% because flight prices are always going up and down and our mission is to make it affordable for you. So if you reach um, half 50% of the price, you can lock secure that price and it can go as up as it can. Your price when you locked it will remain the same. So if that's something that interests you, uh, I think that you will love what we're doing. Um, and as I mentioned, inspiring meaningful savings. Uh, so happy to be here with the Good Coasting community because I think everyone here sees the importance of making saving fun and making saving meaningful. Uh, you have to allocate those funds for something that's important to you and taking that action uh, is the first step to reaching financial freedom, uh, building those good habits. Discipline is not always easy to acquire, but with great founders like Rachel, Jill, and uh, the FlyWallet team, we can make it happen. Um, so. Yeah, well said there, well said yeah, there. And Question. That's why, we're best, that's why we're best friends, sorry, sorry, go ahead. Hey, no, uh, exactly, you're right, we are. This is, this, is a, this is one of the situations where, you know, FlyWallet and the team over there is able to see what we're doing and saw a perfect natural fit and was able to say, hey, guess what? You guys are our best friends. Y'all do what we need and this is going to be a good partnership. And so we've been happy to make that make that happen. I did. There's a question here for you and we hear this one all the time here, partner. What are the opportunities of like refunds, right? What happens with someone using a flight and what case and in what scenario does something like that remain available? Well, um. Like, like most airlines, like most uh, online travel agencies, we always have a 24-hour grace uh, period. So 24 hours after booking, you can change the flight. Uh, you can get a full refund. You can change the time and uh, it won't cost you anything. After that 24-hour period, um, it can get uh, a bit complicated in terms of if you don't get the insurance. Obviously, insurance is always an option. Uh, it's recommended. Um, but if you want to travel hack and find the cheapest prices, the risk is on you. Uh, FlyWallet is here to help you make it happen. Um, and then the responsibility is uh, on the user on how they wish to proceed. But if you want to get the insurance, we'll help you afford it. Um, no problem. That's uh, I've always loved that about the crypto world, right? Is that this this isn't necessarily just spoon fed. It does require yeah, 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 user yeah. involvement. And so by all means, you know, there's no more extra protections here that you would expect at a typical airline um, purchase process. And so you're no worse off than that, but not necessarily able to add any additional protections past what, what the airlines themselves offer. And it's, uh, it's, a, it's a working point. I think that we can get there, you know, uh, as uh, there's amazing protocols out there where, you know, you can 
peer-to-peer um, peer-to-peer lending that can maybe help you know afford uh, afford some insurance and you know and you can get rewarded for. Well, and you already see this here. We, we have Angus already figuring out how they're going to be able to spin SOS tokens to get some of these flights as well. There you go. Um, there you go. Absolutely. Going, I can also just say, as a um, like, just thank you to FlyWallet. I actually booked my flights out to Barcelona uh, using FlyWallets, and it has an amazing user experience. It's sort of similar to like what you'd get on any kind of looking for a flight. They come up. Um, you can choose the quickest, you know, the cheapest, um, and then you're just popping up a transaction to your either your Valora wallet or your MetaMask and actually paying with, with CUSD. So that was an awesome experience. And also like adding that extra carbon offset, which is also really nice. So like Absolutely. flying, flying with crypto and flying green. That's awesome. Absolutely. Definitely very important to uh, travel responsibly, you know, covering that carbon footprint. And thanks so much, uh, Rachel. Rachel is a FlyWallet uh, booker. <laughs> Only here because of FlyWallet. So like, <laughs> it literally works. And it's a brilliant way to offboard your crypto. There you Thank go, so guys. Much. And so this is actually kind of a natural segue, right? Because we're just learning about FlyWallet overall. But we got, we got some games to play with FlyWallet this time through. So if you've been watching our medium, if you've been watching our social, you're probably aware that we've recently posted about our upcoming savings pool and that's going to be launching today at the conclusion of this call i can promise you that francis has already been creeping around in the back back end uh, getting things ready for deployment and so this fly wallet pilot savings pool here we got some good ideas for how we're going to collect some capital for you to have some substantial amount to possibly look at getting yourself out of the house somewhere. And so we want to get you enough money saved that there's some beginnings of an opportunity for you to roll that into a travel. Well, FlyWallet's got a lot of uh, ambitious agenda for long-term games. And so I don't expect ever that this would be the last one. I expect that we'll see many more of these, but starting things off, we wanted to launch a pool. It's going to be $50 of CUSD every two weeks. And so the deposit frequency is going to be once every two weeks. It'll be six deposits in a row. And so this, this pool will be a little bit of a long one. This will be wrapping up kind of the end of June, early of July there. July 12th, I believe, is when these funds will be available for withdrawal. Same game as always, though. Hit your deposits, stay alive, remain a saver, and you'll have the right to that aggregated interest. And then once we're done with this pool, we have some nice gifts from FlyWallet. I'm going to let him talk a little bit about what we were mentioning on that, that uh, book now fly later system to talk about. And so what kind of, what kind of treats do you think you have in mind for us on this pool? So everyone who completes this pool uh, deserves, you know, deserves to be uh, rewarded. And I'm so excited for, I want this call to last obviously, but I can't wait for the pool to launch. Um, but everyone who completes uh, the game will receive a book now, fly later voucher. So you will have 300 CUSD uh, saved with you know, uh, interest and rewards that uh, Good Ghosting provides. But that means that you'll be able to book a flight of 600, um, worth 600 CUSD. But it doesn't just have to stop there. You can keep, um, saving you know if you have already if you have funds in your in your CUSD uh, wallet let's say you know you've got 500 or you keep saving you can use that book now fly later voucher whenever you want so just know that if you want to lock a price uh, at a certain time uh, that's what we're here for to help you make that summer plan happen it's it's ending in the middle of the summer but hopefully 2022 can be a year where you make that dream trip happen um, and uh, or just a family trip or at least boarding a plane. So really looking forward. And actually, and we can't forget the best part, for all the winners, amongst the winners, we, one, of, one of you or one of the lucky winners will get uh, a full ride, a complete round trip uh, gifted to them on the house. So that can be anywhere in the world. So anyone who's serious about this game, Make sure you complete it and you might be the lucky free traveler. And I can't wait to make it happen for you. Me or Gump, I'm really holding out here. Me and Gump are uh, overdue for a win here. So I'd like to clean this one up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, and, um, and actually, I just want to, you know, 
obviously push, you know, we're trying to make uh, with you guys, you know, saving fun, but it's also spending your money wisely. And uh, I really want to push that you should spend your money on experiences, not things, guys, okay? Build memories, build experience, and, uh, and uh, live your best life. Well, and, and, and be one of the lucky few, one of the world's first that can say, hey, listen, back in you know the early 2020s, I actually traveled uh, and took a flight with crypto. That That oh, is yeah. a very pioneering. And so most of us here are explorers. And so this, I think, is a unique opportunity to be involved with quite literally the cutting edge of what we're seeing develop. Oh, yep. Absolutely, Kim. Mm -hmm. Well said. Well, there we go, guys. That's uh, going to do it for the guest presentations here. I wanted to leave some time here at the end for Q&A. It looks like we've done a decent job of that. So at least for our, all of our talking parts, let's have a moment to kind of digest all this stuff. Um, I am going to make this presentation available after the fact, and so you'll be able to have these slides for reference if you'd like to just see this or reference any of the material that we've seen presented. But just kind of recapping things today, um, good ghosting stuff that's been of note. We've got the player dashboard and that beta mode is now live and available. We're at that thousand good ghosting score uh, limit currently, but we do expect to be loosening that up and making that available for everybody. Just closed out on that seed round about 1.3 million in funds raised. And so we're very proud and very um, thankful for all of those supporters and look forward to what we're going to grow out of here. And then one of those agendas is working on these NFTs, right? Rachel's, I'm just excited for Rachel, honestly. She's been so excited about this. It's one of her favorite projects that we're working on right now. And I'm happy to see this finally moving forward. And um, thank you to those individuals who have received one of these NFTs and have already thrown it up as your avatars and your PFPs in the Discord. It's a pleasure to see our ghost walking around in the wild. It really does put a smile on my face. Open DAO is coming to Polygon soon. They'll be migrating with that SOS token. We expect to do a savings game with them um, on the It'll be the next one up on the agenda, actually. So FlyWallet's got the spot now, and we'll be working with OpenDAO in the next pool for Polygon. FlyWallet's bringing travel on chain, letting individuals spend crypto to get flights in the real world. That's a hard thing to find. It's not only is it an off-ramp, but it's a functional off-ramp that has a real utility. And so be sure to check out their platform. You'll have an easy way to, because we'll be opening our savings pool with them today at the conclusion of this call, which our timing's right on the mark there. Six deposits in a row, 50 bucks of CUSD every two weeks. So you'll end up saving $300 in total. I was laughing with my wife last night about this because remember, guys, it's never a price tag, right? You're not spending a dollar of this. You're, you're, you're helping yourself out. You're, you're protecting yourself from yourself. I love what we do here, and I'm thankful to, to get all you guys to, to get wrapped up in this. One last thing of note is if you're in our Matic March pool, we do have a raffle to handle for that as well. We have some prizes to give away those jungle color NFTs um, from Mast Culture. Those are going to be available to be handed out for the raffle. And I'm going to hold that April 8th. That'll be this coming Friday. I've just got to talk to Charles, the team over at Jungle Color, to pick an exact time, and I'll make that publicly available to everybody. But do be aware that that raffle is on the agenda. This one, I'll not spend too long, so we'll leave some to the chat, but just a quick overview and an update on a lot of our partners. We like to stay friendly and, and not forget those who have helped us along the way. And so just a quick update on a lot of the different projects that, that are having activities going on out there. Cyberbox and SpaceFi, these were two of our most recent pool sponsors. And so Cyberbox has the Dalpolis binting going on. Those, that's, that is their house NFT project, and they're working on NFT loans. Interesting project. Check out what Cyberbox is doing. SpaceFi is currently in their active beta testing. They're operating on CeeLo and on the EVMOS, Cosmos net. Very, very exploratory. You don't encounter that too often. So check out SpaceFi. They got some neat stuff going on. You guys are probably already familiar with Sea Espresso, Women of CeeLo, Chinchillas, and Celestrials. All four of those projects are still currently in minting. And so be sure to check them out. All four of them are very promising in their own rights and they have their own little communities being built. And I'm very happy to be um, <laughs> holding everything. Avagachi, if you've been paying attention, Avagachi just recently released their alpha release. And so they now have a functioning project. They have a game that you can play, you can get a gachi and you can walk around in the gachi verse. I actually did something neat last night with Salt. I set up one of my own personal gachis on a rental whitelist. And so that way I was able to give a good ghosting community member an opportunity to experience Avagachi without any barrier of entry. It worked out well. And so I do think I'll do that on a personal level and grab 
my, my, my little stash of gotchis and create a specific good ghosting whitelist for all of you dedicated DeFi DGENs that want to see what the gotcha verse is all about. Well, I'll make that personally easy for you. And so that way you can see what that looks like. Red Kite, y'all remember Red Kite? Great project, NFT marketplace that's developing on Polygon. They've launched something called the Humanity Campaign. They're working very hard to create a collaborative art experience to help contribute to the Ukraine crisis. And they've uh, reached out to many different artists. They've, they're building at this stage. It's not currently in motion. They're getting ready to deploy this show. And so I did want to make a moment to, to mention that and make you aware. Talent Protocol pulled a good one on us. They're migrating to Polygon here in the very near future. And so started on CeeLo. That's where we introduced ourselves to them and met them. And I think uh, Rachel and Gil are running around with Talent Protocol out there with Fly Wallet and everybody at CeeLo Connect. But they are on their way to Polygon soon. And so that works out really well for us as well. With that in mind, that's the burn, guys. That's my, my actual load of items. And so we're open-ended here. If anyone has any questions and answers or Angus or Thomas, Rachel, Gil, does anyone have anything that we just want to chat about? Yeah. I think, I'm not sure if you can hear me. I'm uh, having some technical difficulties. You but good. Okay, perfect. Um, yeah, I just wanted to, first of all, say, indeed, it's been great to meeting Thomas, um, as all the other people at uh, Solo Connect, like a really great site. Um, but actually, I do have some news on the Polygon side as well. We just received news that we are one of the top uh, 28 applications uh, on uh, Polygon. We're even the top three that will receive additional user rewards. So you will um, be seeing more WMATIC show up in the saving pool uh, that are going to launch in the next few weeks. So really excited for that. Like um, We'll be able to offer like very nice incentives for all of you. So be sure to join, bring your friends. Um, actually, the more people join the pool, the higher the rewards will be. So um, we really want to like take the opportunity to really scale up and see that the ghosting um, can bring joy in many people's lives. So uh, yeah, tell your friends. <laughs> There you go, guys. It's, it's one of those things. Sometimes you feel like you want to keep it to yourself, right? The more people that, that successfully complete a game, that's that's not helping you, right? You want them to ghost out, but you need them to be there to begin with. So it's a, it's a fine edge, but we're starting to look at other mechanics to help incentivize larger numbers in these pools too. We want, we want you to bring a friend. Don't keep this all to yourself. You got, you got to share. Okay. Yeah. yeah, that's super exciting news um, and like, great to have that support. And it just means a lot more pools, a lot more value for our community, which is ultimately what we want and what it's all about. Um, yeah. And like in the short term, I'm getting super excited for this uh, fly wallet pool, which I believe Francis is like at the kind of at the code phase, like getting everything ready to deploy. Um, so it's going to be amazing to uh, get that out there and a perfect kind of end to the the last couple of days in Solo Connect to actually be deploying like a live collaboration with another Solo uh, project uh, just to round it off. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to put that out there as well. That's no, perfect, guys, it's perfect. Let's just check the Q&A real quick. That's an interesting question, I, do. I don't mind that. Oh, go ahead, Gil. No, I uh, do see some questions relating to the SOS. Uh, so, mm -hmm. and whether users will need to bridge it from Mainnet to Polygon or how they uh, can interact with the pool. So, it'd be good to like clarify that one. What do you think, Angus? Or am I gonna, if I'm holding a bag of SOS on Ethereum, am I crossing the bridge to get that over to Polygon? Yeah, so I think to participate in the good ghosting pool, you probably don't have to bridge it, um, but you need to like show that it is in your wallets. Um, but if you want to participate in the liquidity mining program that is on the sushi sort polygon, then you have to bridge your SOS over and some ETH as well. Makes perfect sense. So there you go. For the good ghosting incentives of it, for, for the recognition as an SOS holder, we'll do that a manual verification a little bit, kind of like we did the Valora wallet. And we'll be able to receive verification that you're holding those tokens. But if you want to participate in that growing SOS ecosystem in terms of direct staking of those tokens, you will need to migrate that liquidity from Ethereum over to Polygon. Anthony, I think you were asking about that specifically there, so that should take care of you there, partner. Okay, and then Aaron had a question for us, and I know we always, you know, it's kind of 
touchy with percentages, but by all means, I like the question, we'll ask it, right? Is there a minimum target APY when we're creating stable coin pools? Do we have anything to do with that? How do we determine that, Rachel? Uh, yes, that's a good question. So, I mean, like, ultimately, like, the APY is being generated by, like, the protocols that we're they're building on top of. So, like, Moolah um, on, on Celo and um, Aave on Polygon. So, we can't really... We don't have the yeah, power we, to we boosted that. we boosted a bit with um, with additional incentive. Yeah, so, so we you can, do we get can... like with extra reward. You you get some extra. Yeah, yeah. So, so we, we try to enhance. Oh, sorry that. to keep interrupting you, Rachel. <laughs> no, but yeah, just uh, like in it, we, we aim to always get it like above ten percent. It's like the absolute minimum. I'd say sometimes it goes like way higher, yeah. but. Um, yeah, it needs to be worth it for people to join and save money through uh, the pool. But there is like, yeah, like it's best like dive into it, look at what the incentives are. And then in terms like the APY, we cannot probably like just find out, not financial advice or financial advice. There is no like guaranteed APY with the actual underlying um, protocol just in terms of how that works. Uh, but of course, when we commit to like adding a certain amount of incentives and it's in your blog post, that is how much we all in incentivize. So sometimes you might have to do a little bit of math there, um, but we always try and make it worth your while in terms of building on protocols that are gonna get you a return and then adding those, uh, adding those nice incentives on top. Yeah, perfect there. And then Mary, I think this one gets asked quite a bit often as well. We had a lot of discussion in this last pull about it. I think Gil, you can put this one to rest right here, right? So they've always wondered, like the extra incentives that we offer to the pool, are those fed into the pool to help also grow interest? Or is it just a flat amount set aside that gets distributed to winners? Yeah, good question. So uh, the answer is sometimes. So if it's the same reward as that the pool is used to save, so if it's, uh, for instance, like a die saving pool, and we get extra die incentives, then yes, they generate interest. If it's a different token, like WMAPIC or Celo, uh, that is not being used to save in, in the pool itself. So if there are two tokens involved, then the second token doesn't earn any interest. But yeah, like when it arrives in your wallet, you're free to do with it what you want. If you want to uh, put it somewhere like Ave or Mula, uh, you can always do so, um, but not while the pool is still running. Um, so yeah, like Nano also is asking, like, could it be saved in another protocol than Ave or Mula, and what would it be? So yeah, we are um, in the process of adding more yield strategies. Um, we'll be talking, well, we, we announced it before, so we'll be looking at things like your finance, for example, uh, where we can generate some additional yield. Um, but we look to expand further on that in the future as well. Yeah, good stuff there. And then Anthony's got a, he's always got complicated questions. I like Anthony. Uh, he wants to know, so they, you know, we're migrating, we offered the ability to migrate the, the ghosting score earned from the Valora wallet for the Celo mobile pool. Is that specific to just that particular pool, right? It's not something that we could retroactively reach back and say do for the uh, international women's pool? As, no, as it I... stands, that was a one-off for that pool. Um, yeah, like I cannot make any promises on, on how that will be done in the future, but that was a specific one-off just to kind of um, help you get on board with Valora and try that out as a wallet. Um, but stay tuned. Yeah, exactly. Um, and see what the developments are. It's it's one hundred percent manual. It's a pain, guys. It's it is a it is a an effort right now on my side. You were about to say something, Rachel. Uh, no, no, no. I'm good. I'm good. Uh, okay. Excuse me. Sorry. About something that. I'm seeing crazy here in the chat, and I'm happy to see this. Honestly, it's, you know, we're always wondering about these flavors. It looks like a lot of people really like these split pools that we're doing on Celo, where we offer. Uh, the same pool timeline, but with two different currencies. It's something that we've tried a couple of times. It seems like uh, we're just having a lot of success with that. People are liking that. So we'll we'll be aware of that. Glad. Thank you for sharing that with us. That's what we got to know, right? We don't want to be doing this stuff in a vacuum or in a silo. We, we absolutely want to make games that you guys want to play. Yeah, like, and let us know. Like, I mean, we're, we're very open to kind of experimenting with pool timelines, pool amounts. Um, 
we can uh, yeah we can try new things when even types of tokens you know i think like angus is one of my favorite stories right because angus you found out about us through the bankless pool back in the day being a bankless member yourself and so you know we're a protocol that's been in a feather in your cap for a while and now you saw an opportunity for something you're involved with today and, and put that linking together so we've got users today that probably aren't involved with projects yet that they will be in the future and when you see those natural partnerships or alliances available, by all means, let us know. We're always looking to make friends and we're always wanting to make uh, relationships with good projects as they emerge. Guys, you spent some good time with us here today. I'm pleased with the way that my day is starting here. Uh, so let's do some rewards, right? Let me, uh, let me treat everybody for being here. You're probably familiar with this if you've been on one of our other calls, but if you haven't, we are offering like on badges for attendance today. And so this is like a POOP, but it is not a POOP proper. This is something that's being operated on the Polygon blockchain itself. And so these badges are available um, as like, they are ERC-721 NFTs proper, but they are not transferable. These are soul bound items. Once you receive this in wallet, it stays put there forever. And so they're not things that can be bought later to show proof of attendance for things you didn't participate in. These are only going to be in one wallet ever. It's the wallet that they get sent to. And so we're making this available. And I do have the text chat as well. Here you guys go. That is going to be a link to the Google form. There is a secret phrase that you'll see when you open the Google form. It's there towards the end. And that secret phrase today will be open sky. That's a nice little play on open DAO. And then with Fly Wallet joining us today, there are some survey questions in there that you can complete if you would like to, but they're completely optional. You will see the only three questions that are required are just relating to the wallet address and the, the secret phrase. And then uh, we'll get those out to you here in the next Hopefully about 48 hours is what I always try to aim for for this badge distribution. Well, with that in mind, there is that survey for you to complete. This is the community call wrapping up. Do we have anything else that we want to share here, guys? Open format. We've actually got some free time for once. I was just going to answer this question that Aaron's uh, popped in. Like, will the next gen NFTs also exist on Cello? And I can answer that. Yes, they will be on Cello. Like, so we've, we sent these ones out on, on Polygon, but there will be uh, NFTs dropping on Cello. And I'm also just going to say this because I've noticed that some of you have kind of already jumped in and found a way in and, and, and noticed that it is there. But the Fly Wallet pool is actually out there live on our main <laughs> uh, website. So uh, those of you who are super quick and jumped in and have already shared in our Discord, uh, like, hey. well done to you. Um, hats off. Uh, but anyone else, like it's open there, so you can go and uh, go and start saving, and like start saving towards your summer fly and uh, booking it with Fly Wallet on Cello as well. There we go. Kiel's just say, say, uh, shared that. Perfect. In the, Got the our channel, link. So thank you. There's watchers, Anthony. These people watch us, man. It's it's a it's a fun thing when you watch your blogs or your pools or something get announced by non-team members. It's really nice to know that there are individuals out there that are paying that close of attention to what we're working on here. It's encouraging. We're good there. I don't see any others. I just want to thank Angus from OpenDAO. I want to thank Thomas from FlyWallet. Both these projects are very promising, and we're excited to see what you guys are doing on your own and then what we can build together at the same exact time. Um, thank you guys very much for taking time to hang out with us today. This will be streamed onto YouTube as well later, and so we'll get this up so you can share this with your friends that have um, real-world obligations and don't have the opportunity to sit here and hang out with this nice community. Um, lots of activity on the call today. We always appreciate you guys being here. Discord's been popping. Y'all are y'all are killing it in there. I've not seen so many GMs and just in general chatter. And it might look, I don't know, Rachel, Gil, if you guys saw or not, but it looks like our, our Chinese translator has awoken from its slumber and it, it's it's finally starting to, to function correctly. And so I should be able to um, play ball with a lot of you guys a lot more. Wow. Yeah. Nice. Great. Nice. Cool. By the way, we're also um, like very much up for like um, people who would like to step up as being like a local ambassador or um, like local community member to help people out with onboarding into good ghosting. If you, for instance, are uh, in an area where 
people, for example, don't speak English as the first language um, and you would like to help us out on getting more of like, friends, family or uh, other uh, persons you know who might be interested in saving through good ghosting, like reach out to us. Uh, we can uh, work together to like onboard the next 10,000, 100,000 people into this. Um, so yeah, we're glad to have you all here and looking forward to working together. Yeah, it's awesome to see so many people on the call. Great to have such amazing uh, guest speakers with awesome products. Great seeing those um, good ghosting next generation unique NFTs getting shared in the in the Discord channel. Keep doing that. And we will be asking for some more like community input on the names. So I know that you've already spotted uh, that the namings, um, some of you are going down in the good ghosting myths and legends, the law of the, the company, the law of the project in our NFTs. So yeah. Just, uh, just keep nice. you being you. It's awesome. Nice. Aaron Sinka. That's the jelly man there. Nice to have you finally join us here, Aaron. It's nice to always put the two together. Um, guys, something I'm going to be working on too, like we're just talking about building out these community relations and whatnot. I, you see me sometimes sitting in the lo-fi music room. You'll see me sometimes sitting in one of the voice chats. Please bug me. Don't ever feel bad about hopping in there. If I'm in there, I'm available. And so I'm always up for a chat. It doesn't have to be an event. It doesn't have to be a hosted thing. We can just sit there and have open office hours. I really uh, am in a unique position where I feel so lucky to be able to do this for a living. And so by all means, guys, put me to work. Let me know how I can help you. The community is everything. And if we're all hanging out together, then we're taking care of each other. With that in mind, I'm going to go ahead and put a cherry on top of this. We're going to wrap this up. The Google form is out there and available. I'll leave that open for the next 24 hours. So people that weren't able to be on the call do have a chance to watch the live stream and can participate in the badge as well. So if you have a friend or something that you think is interested or someone that you play the pools with, let them know, let them know. Give them a moment to check out the video, turn in the form and we'll get everybody included in this badge distribution. That's gonna do it for April, guys. I'm gonna wrap this stream up here. We're gonna kill the recording. Thank you all for coming. You saw the link for the pool. Get in that fly wallet pool. That one's a goodie. Um, I am hopeful that I take that flight home, but I know it's not gonna happen. It's gonna be one of you guys. So make the effort, do the work, make the savings happen. End boring savings, and we will see you guys down the road. Thank you very awesome. much. Thanks everyone. Cheers. Yeah, 